in my last couple of videos and columns, I spoke about the danger of labels. Then I started dissecting it further. Our labels come from our stories. And I love Brene Brown, and I learn a lot from her. I have her books, her videos. And I started to sort of dissect the label, the label coming from the story. And when we have a story, we whittle it down to a label. As I said, I'm a Hashimoto survivor. I'm a liberal person. I'm a patriot. I'm a middle child. We pick the label whose story we most, most resonate with. And then, I thought, why do we do this? Well, we do this because Brene Brown talks about we want a sense of belonging. That's all anyone ever wants. We want a sense of belonging. We want to feel connection. So we do this subconsciously in order to make it easier for people who are like us to connect with us. But when we do that, when we create a label based on our story, we are not our story. We are not our label. The story in the label is a tiny, minuscule portion of who we really are deep down. When we limit ourselves to the label or to the story, we miss out on so many things and so many people. So what started as a defense mechanism and a way to connect people actually winds up cutting us off from people. We find the few people or the few groups that we think can relate to us in a certain way, and that way is our story or label, but we miss out on the people who can relate to us and resonate with us on such a bigger level. I don't have the answer to this, but I find a lot of answers come from asking the right questions. And this is the question I'm asking myself now, and I invite you to do the same thing. Why do I need people who resonate with that label or that story? Am I more, am I more than that label and that story? The label and the story come from the past. And sure, of course we want people to understand our plight and our journey and our pain, but who can resonate with the future potential of ourselves? Getting stuck in the label or the story keeps us stuck in the past and the past is gone. So how do we create a new story without the label? It's by mixing things up a little bit. I'm gonna ponder this and I invite you to do the same thing.